head all night. So if you sit there and wait on it much, you're just uh, behind, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that's the, the reporter talk is when you when they pitch really well, should you have took more pitches? But you know, the truth is, he just threw a lot of strikes, yeah. and so um, you know, we. Um, uh, we took some and some were strikes and swung at some and some were balls and out of the zone and it was just one of those nights I, I think you just got to credit them I mean we we can really swing it and uh, but you got to credit uh, you know that that guy on the mound today he was terrific the one pitch bit him but Doug looked up he having a pretty good day today what do you think about the way through yeah you know it's just that one inning you know we we, we had a bad inning uh, they put three up and you know they had a bad inning and we, we only put two up and uh, uh, besides that it was it was all pitching and defense and uh, I thought Doug was terrific, and you know uh, Packard and, and, and Brickhouse. I mean, they're middle uh, of the lineup type of guys that would bat on any team in the SEC. And uh, against the three and two against uh, Packard, and we tried to throw a you know slider and sneak it in there. Maybe he'd roll it over, and uh, and you know he's, he smokes it into the gap for a double. And then the two hole guy, we were ahead one two, tried to get in, and you know he tough at bat. He pushes one to center field, and and then. Um, you know, after the uh, you know the the wild pitch pass ball, and they get to the second and third. Um, we normally would walk you know brick house, but with two strikes, um, you know, hoping that maybe we could because we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to strike out somebody, and um, and so we go for it. And he just overthrows a breaking ball, leaves it up, uh, and, and brick house gets enough of it. You know, to, you know today with the wind blowing out to, to get it out, and uh, but it's tough. It's tough to run through them, and they just they put three really good bats together. How's Mitch's hand? How's so, Bench's hand? Uh, a fracture in a middle finger and likely to be out for um, maybe a month. Thomas was saying the dugout's kind of quiet as you get into those later innings, obviously. What do you do from your perspective to kind of make sure they're still engaged and everything? Oh, they're engaged. It's just tough. You know, it's tough, you know, emotionally. And we challenge the guys all the time. And, uh, you know, it's... You know, a lot of times the, the the emotion comes from success. You know, but I, I thought our dugout that the guys are, are locked in. I just think it's um, it's one of those days where they just they beat us. You know, not by much, but they beat us, and their guy was really good on the mound.